Our first guest tonight is a talented actor you know best as Peter Parker from both the Spider-Man movies and the Avengers franchise. He returns in Spider-Man No Way Home, which premieres exclusively in theaters and IMAX on December 17th. Let's take a look. That's right, folks. Spider-Man is, in fact, Peter Parker. Are you Spider-Man's girlfriend? Is, in fact, Spider -Man's Are you Spider-Man's girlfriend? Whoa, 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 please don't touch her, You're sir. just a kid? You murdered You're Mysterio? Uh, you helped him murder Mysterio? No, I, I didn't. Come on, can anybody? Whoa, 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 whoa. He can't oh, spider -Man. All this time, people looked up to this boy and called him a hero. Well, I'll tell you what I call him. Public enemy number one. Oh, 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 no, never wanted to I'm so sorry, but I can't see anything with your hand in my Dude! 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 Please welcome back to the show, Tom Holland, everybody! So nice to see you. Dude! Dude! I mean, I've been there. That's how I get mobbed when I walk out of the studio. So it's that, tough, right? That was like walking, watching a documentary about my life. Another yeah. day in the life. <laughs> Another day in the life. Um, it's so nice to have you here in studio. Thanks for making the trip. Mate, it's so good to be back. Thank you for having me. You have, uh, I, I want to mention that um, I have not seen the film because I understand, you know, these, uh, these Marvel things are, are, are tight wrapped. Yes. They sent me, they said, would you like to watch the first 40 minutes of the film? Right. And I was like, I don't think I can do that. <laughs> I think it would just be too hard to only watch 40 minutes and then have to, have to wait. It's like a really, really offensive trailer. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's really, really unfair that. We, we've been showing the press 40 minutes of the film. Yeah. Just to kind of, there's some really big stuff in this film that we want to keep a secret just because this film really is the celebration of three generations of cinema. So we want to keep as much of it back as possible. It has been really interesting only talking about 40 minutes of a movie, though. Right. Uh, but it's been fun, and the press have been really excited, and, and it's been a really good press tour so far. Um, Do you ever feel like you're in class, and the teachers ask you if you read the whole book, and you, you're <laughs> yeah. faking it? You're yeah. like, what was your favorite part of Tale of Two Cities? The beginning. Yes. Oh. Right, 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 right. Love the beginning. That's like every movie I've ever done that's based off of a book. The director's like, so what did you think of the book? I'm like, it's great. It's so like the script. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> you know? Uh, you're like, you know what? I think once I see the movie we're about to make, I'll have a real understanding of the book. We're on the same page. Um, I know you're about to go uh, L.A. after this. Yes. You just did some London, and then you could go home, uh, thankfully, uh, for the holidays. Are you looking forward to going back, uh, being with your family? I am. I am. I'm very stressed, though, because, you know, naturally with a press tour, you're very busy. I haven't done any Christmas shopping yet. Yeah. Um, I don't think I can say to my family that me coming back for Christmas is enough of a gift. Right. <laughs> But, but it is, right? Yeah, hi. I mean, look. Come on. I want to say this. Come over for Christmas. <laughs> I, I want to say there's no exaggeration. If you came and spent Christmas with me, that would be enough. Right. <laughs> Vice versa. Yeah. Thank you. Are we doing this? <laughs> I think we're. Are we doing this? I we think doing we're doing this, this. <laughs> honey. <laughs> honey, tell the kids I'm not coming <laughs> home. I'm hanging out with Tom. Uh, do they? Well, I was wondering about your family because uh, I know you're very close uh, with brothers uh, and your family in general. But they obviously understand what you're going through as far as sure. how busy you are. Right. But they're not going to let you off the hook, are they? No. Yeah. They're really not. And I'm, I'm going to find myself Christmas Eve running around like a headless chicken, buying yeah. socks. Yeah. Tea towels. Right. Meaningless stuff. Yeah. You know. <laughs> nice card. I write a nice card. Yeah. Dear Mum, Merry Christmas. Yeah. Tom. You get a. Uh, a sweatshirt that says Heathrow. Yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> I love New York. <laughs> These are very rare. This is uh, the only replica Statue of Liberty <laughs> they ever made. It cost me a whole $9. <laughs> uh, we also talked backstage about that you were very lucky to do back-to-back -back films where you managed to get through uh, without any COVID shutdowns. Yes. Uh, which is very hard uh, this day and age, but possible because people take it so seriously, right? The, the COVID protocols in place are, are massive. I mean, it's important, and I think, you know, when it comes to something like that, the, uh, the rules really stem from the top, you know?
playing Spider-Man on set, you have a responsibility to follow the rules so that everyone else sees you That's doing right. it so they copy you. That said, there were times that we would have a bit of fun with it. I remember in the Spider-Man suit, because the thing is so tight, the zip sometimes gets stuck and it's a nightmare. I'll have like half of it off and I'm like, please just get this thing off of me. And we have a bottle of lube uh -huh. that we like squirt on the zips to like yeah. get it open and yeah, stuff. Yeah, that's why we have one too. Yeah. That's why we have <laughs> bottles of lube. Yeah, because of, of zippers. Right. But anyway, we're on set and uh, Mitch Bell is there. Mitch Bell is one of our big Marvel producers. He's in charge of the money. So, you know, like a COVID shutdown for him is a very serious thing and he's taking it very seriously. And this bottle of lube does suspiciously look like a bottle of hand sanitizer. Uh -huh. So he walks over and he's chatting to me and he's like, hey man, can I get some of that hand sanitizer? And I look at my brother, Harry, and I'm like, this is about to be golden. <laughs> So I'm squeezing all this stuff on him. I'm squeezing it, squeezing it, squeezing it. And he walks off and you can see him on set like this goddamn hand sanitizer, <laughs> <let's> go. <laughs> and then the best thing at the end of the day, the same thing happened with the boom op. So he's doing a scene and I can see him like this. He's like, I can't hold on to the boom. <laughs> it's just slipping everywhere. <laughs> I promise that's the only two times we did it, though. Uh, that's right. I, the idea of you half in a Spider-Man suit, I don't know, like, I, have you ever gone to the Sesame Street studios? I have not. Because the one thing they tell you is, like, you cannot take any photos of, like, the Muppets, like, at rest. Right, 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 right. Because it would course. be too terrifying for children. Sitting there with a beer, like, yeah, smoking exactly. a cigarette. Who or knows? just, like, it's just, like, you know, like right, that. Right, right, right. <laughs> just a dead Muppet. Yeah, I feel like the same about, like, I would never want to see a photo of, like, Spider-Man half in and out of his suit, just having yeah. given up. It's not attractive. <laughs> it's not flattering. And it also comes with a lot of me being like, get it off, get it off, get it off! <laughs> I've got, like, the neck stuck over my mouth. I'm suffocating. <laughs> Director's giving me notes. It's just, it's a tough time. Well, uh, it, uh, the good news is it pays off on screen. Uh, we're going to be right back with more from Tom Holland after this.